Hi, I'm Hurang, and in this video I'll be teaching you how to use, install and configure a network simulator for your network practices. For this purpose I'm going to use GNS3. GNS3 is a network simulator that allows simulation of complex networks. It is an excellent tool to real lab for network engineers, administrators, and especially students who want to pass certifications such as Cisco or Juniper certificates. GNS3 is an open source free program that can be used on multiple operating systems including Windows, Linux, and OS, and Macintosh, I mean. So uh, let's get started and see where we can get this software, how to install it, and how to configure it. So for this purpose, I'm going to go to uh, gns3.net website. On the right side of the right side of this uh, website, you can see a download link. You click on that link, it takes you to the download page of uh, this website. Yeah, there you go. So here you see that they have this application for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux operating system. Now, if you want to install it on Linux operating system, for example, Ubuntu, uh, you can go to the software center of Ubuntu and uh, download it from there. It's much more easier. But for this purpose, I'm going to use it. Uh, I'm going to download for the Windows version uh, operating system. So here is the link. Uh, it's better to download everything all together uh, because GNS3 needs all these uh, applications that are included in the download link. So let's click on that. And here you can download the software. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to download it. And once I got the file, then we go through it and we install the file together. All right. So here is the file that I have downloaded. So let's double click on the file and install it. It's again pretty straightforward like all other software that you install. So click on next. Agree to the terms and conditions. Here is the GNS3 that we're going to install. Uh, these are all the components that are needed to be installed along with GNS3. So I recommend that you leave all these ticks and install all these uh, uh, components unless you have them previously installed on your system that you can untick uh, these components. So click next and install. So here is WinPCAP which is required for GNS3. You need to install it. After installation of that WinPCAP, WinP we continue with GNS3. Okay, now my software is installed. So click finish. And here is the icon of GNS3. So let's double click and run it and see what it gives us. So when you start GNS3, uh, let me resize this so that I can fit it in my window. All right. So when you install GNS3 and you run it for the first time, you will see a setup wizard that you need to configure this GNS3 software. So let's click on the first link and there you are. We are in general tab. Here you have to uh, give a path for the project directory where you want to save your project. So I'm going to put it inside my GNS3 folder. So we go to program file, we search for GNS3, and here you can create a new folder. 
I call it my projects. So there is some permissions that are required. Okay. And then image directory. Now, what is this image directory? I'll, I'll talk about this and I'll explain this part later to you. But for now, you click. Okay. Again, we go to program files. Uh, we find our genus tree. Here, I create another folder. Continue. We have to provide these permissions. So I call this one iOS. Yes. Okay. So your project directory is my projects. I created a new folder. And image directory is C program file GNS3 iOS. Click apply and OK. Step two add one or more uncompressed iOS images. So now if you want to use GNS3, because GNS3 is a network emulator, in fact, it works with the, with the real uh, operating system software, meaning it works with the real uh, Cisco or Juniper routers operating system. So you need to get the real software, otherwise GNS3 cannot work, meaning you cannot use GNS3. It doesn't have any uh, operating system inside itself so that you can use it. So for this purpose, you can ask a friend or uh, anyone who has a Cisco router or Juniper router to get you the, uh, the operating system image. Then you can use it uh, with your GNS3 on your computer. So for this purpose, I have one image of uh, Cisco 7200 series iOS. I'm going to copy this to the iOS folder that I already created inside GNS3 folder. So you go to C program, C, uh, C drive, program files, GNS3. Remember, I created a folder by the name of iOS. Go here and you put that iOS software here, iOS image here. All right. Now, I need to load that image file here. So click on this browse button and then it uh, directs you to the iOS folder that you have already cre created and uh, you put this uh, iOS image inside that. So double click on that or click and open it. And after that the platform, uh, the program, the app 